My name is Rudy Bauer. I'm from Fort Rave and this is my world. My world is in the beautiful country of New Zealand and today we talk a little bit about Quartz Reef and our story and effectively the story is right behind me is the pioneer vineyard of Bendigo. Our region in St. Lotago is actually fact, quite young. The first wine release was 1987 by Alan Brady, absolutely stunning wines and from then on we pretty much uh, improved uh, the desire to make stunning Pinot Noirs in St. Lotago and also as you know there's also stunning Pinot Noirs in New Zealand. So Quartz Reef was effectively born out of a north facing slope which you can see we called Quartz Reef because we are on the biggest Quartz Reef deposit in New Zealand and where is Quartz there is also gold. So the new gold we have got called Pinot Noir also known as the uh, black gold and today I will show you our Pinot Noir which as, as you know it's, uh, it's um, very much to be seen in the US. So this is our Pinot, Pinot 21. 21 in our region was a really nice year. This is our helper, this is Bo. Uh, she's uh, possibly the smallest vineyard dog in uh, New Zealand but still uh, it's very handy when you put in a handbag because she travels quite easily. This vineyard we got now is uh, 25 years old and it's made of various, various clones of um, Clone 5 10, 5, Abel, uh, 6, 6, 7 and uh, on various rootstocks. It's a very much alluvial derived and a glacier derived soils. If again, if you look in the back, you can see the beautiful mountain range is the Pisa range, uh, which is 2000 meters high. So which is a big impact on our climate. We also do on the interior region within New Zealand, um, which gives us, a, let's call it semi-continental um, climate um, conditions which is extremely well suited for New Zealand, you know, as you know, with uh, cool night, warm days. Even today, we are about uh, three weeks away from butt burst and you can, it's cold, minus, minus two, but now it's warming up very, very quickly. And this is re directly reflected in our wines. When you taste our Pinot Noir, it is this beautiful, um, what I call this uh, slightly wild foresty full flavors. Interesting part is that we got thyme and sage, so we got some herbal influence uh, or um, basically herbs which are natively grown around here. Very attractive from an aromatic point of view. On the flavor profile you get really beautiful sweet fruit which is so well known for us as a region. And what we do have got um, not only quartz reef but also of course the whole region is we got these two beautiful markers the extraordinary beautiful definition of purity of Pinot Noir as a variety and vibrant acidity so that's really much um, in a nutshell ours are more structurally um, focused simply because we have a very steep slope with between five and eight thousand vines per hectare and it also has a ma massive impact um, in our overall quality and as, as a and as a longevity point of view we have no issues anymore that um, you know 10 years plus is quite handy for the, the, um, the wine to age enjoy it i guess you may know you can purchase the wine at gary's wines and also we have a little bit other um, other ones we have also got um, a sparkling wine hiding hiding <laughs> by by you know this is popcorn this is my other helper sparkling rosé obviously all traditional champagne like then we, um, then we have the Pinot, which you just hit, and then we also have a, a, a unique Pinot, which is what we call um, a single ferment, which every year has, comes from a different flock, where we believe reflects the season and the vineyard the best. So from that point of view, greetings from New Zealand, from Central Otago to you, and enjoy. Thank you.